I just want to thank you and the other people who are here for what they're doing because what you're doing is for all of us and it's for old people like me as well who can't actually bend down and protest or sleep on the pavement. It's really great what you're doing and we need you. I'm a student myself in politics so the opportunity having arrived it's just it would be I'd be remiss if I t didn't take the opportunity to come here. We're here today just to lend our support to this movement across the world. Um, we don't think it's right that um, a small percentage of people should have it all while the poorer people just get poorer. We've been so betrayed by the authorities who are supposed to represent us. Uh, I don't think that we should have to pay for the profits of financial institutions and markets. I think the economy should be there to benefit everybody. We've had enough of greed. We've had enough of consumerism and buying into this. Excuse me, if you're looking for an undercover agent who might want to stir things up a little bit, uh, for okay. a bit of violence, I came in like a long way. I travelled like five hours to get here. If you don't have a voice in the country that you live in, is it really democratic? I am here in the hope to contribute for a better future for the next generations. Solidarity with what's going on in Wall Street and with every other human being on the planet who's constantly, uh, currently trapped in a, a system which doesn't work for the everybody but just for the few. If nothing's moving then there's no, there's no economy. When freedom becomes a commodity, the people's ability to satisfy their wants in life, to do things, to be creative, uh, has to have a financial base to it. Otherwise you're forced to go and work in Tesco's, work your whole week and you have no ability to really better yourself. Uh, yeah. And that really constitutes slavery. I mean that's what that constitutes and that's the condition of most people in this world. And it's just a kind of moral decency to be here really. I mean, I'm, luckily I'm not... You have the freedom uh, to choose who you're a slave for then. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do. You can work for Tesco's yeah. or you can yeah. work for Sainsbury's and there's a yeah, couple of other yeah. places too. So you can choose to whom you are a slave. You're not directly owned and sold to other people as you would have been in the Roman days. But we're not too far on from well, that no, now, really. now, now no um, one has to sell us. Now we sell ourselves. I think this is um, the start of something quite big when you consider fires and cities around the world are doing exactly the same thing. I think it's very important that I witness this in my lifetime. We are the 99% persuaded! I'm interested to see what the world looks like when the people at the bottom end of the pyramid decide how it's going to be.